Welcome to our state sale preview this week. This week we are in Yukon at a sale that has just an amazing amount of tools. So I'm going to start taking on the tour. Uh, we're going to start in the master bedroom and we have lots of storage tubs. We have a large doll collection. We also have lots of knives, lots of pocket knives, pins, cameras. We've got a lot of everything. It's kind of shocking how much stuff is out here. We've got a small safe here and a huge safe out in the garage. There's lots of books. We've got some luggage. This is some of the dolls. There's actually another room full of dolls. We've got some Elvis collectibles. It's a little dancing Elvis, the Elvis clocks. We've got an entertainment center. Over here we have the futon. This is a super nice futon. It actually has a regular mattress. It's not those little cheap little flimsy mattresses. This is actually a really nice futon. We have a little storage cabinet. Um, over here we have a older china cabinet. And going through the kitchen, we've got lots and lots of antique and vintage stuff out in the barn. There's lots of turn of the century kitchen wares, but we have lots of corning ware, lots of Pyrex, uh, lots of Corel. We have some Wagner ware, uh, Magnolite pans. We also have some Wagner ware cookware, some iron ware, lots of old Tupperware, and lots of, uh, like I said, corning ware and Fire King. In the dining area, we have a set of dishes, and we've also got uh, some Waterford. It's a Colleen Patter Waterford. There are probably about 20 different goblets in the Colleen power, pow, <laughs> pattern. We've got this uh, dining room table and six chairs. We also have these kind of mid-century styled uh, dental lamps. We also have some other mid-century lamps. Uh, we have several of these tables. These are kind of the Ming styled Asian. This is a sofa table. We also have several coffee tables and end tables. We have a microwave and a microwave cart. Over here uh, we have a hazel atlas. This is the pink ruffled uh, china. Down in the entryway hall we've got this little cabinet and we have a quilt rack. He was a master woodmaker and he actually made this wood, wood quilt rack and it's really exceptional really sturdy and handmade quilt we're going to show you one more room before we get back to the good room we've got this wall phone that's actually a radio and in the back bedroom we have a king size headboard we have this sewing cabinet that he made the sewing cabinet and it's custom fit for the sewing machine and you pull all the drawers that's all sorts of fittings for sewing uh, we have a Viking sewing machine, we have a uh, queen headboard, we have lots of Madame Alexander dolls, and some other dolls, and then another of the little dental lamps. Now, in the main living area, we've got lots of primitives, there's some old crockery, lots of primitive chairs. Like I said, he was a master wood maker and he did all these wood toys there are actually a crazy amount of wood toys really elaborate when you really look at them the construction is just absolutely amazing the detail work that went into them we also have this really cool kind of modern spaceship lamp that's kind of mid-century uh, we've got lots of fenton we've got uh, precious moments we have uh, milk glass we have some collectible cars we have several uh, antique clocks, including these little pressed, uh, pressed out parlor clocks, Westminster clocks, and some older clocks. We have tons of records, including some Elvis stuff. These are the other Asian style tables, and we also have a kind of a orange art glass. We have a antique organ stool. Then, over on this side, we have a 30s or 40s little telephone table. We have these really sturdy made benches. He made these benches. We also have a little glider, some Victoria, a pair of matching Victorian tables, a couple of antique rockers, and right here we have a spinning wheel and a little table and chair set. There's several little table and chair sets kind of throughout the cell. Remember there's two huge barns that are going to be at the end of the video too. 
Over here we have a whole lot more wooden toys that he made. There's three different train sets. There's all sorts of really fun, really neat toys. And here we have, uh, they lived in Alaska. This is a real dog sled from Alaska. They lived in the Alaska in the 1960s and they brought this back with them. Also, while they were living in Alaska, they went on a fossil dig, and these are all mastodon bones. They dug up mastodon bones in Alaska and brought them back with them. We have some antique marbles. We also have a Servosky piece, some vintage. Um, we have some really cold knives that are going to be locked up in this case. Then over here, we have some kind of vintage little toys. Um, it's a vintage toys. We have some sort of Murano glass. We have lots of Linux and lots of Waterford. So this entire table is all Linux, Waterford, and Royal Dalton figurine. So that's the Royal Dalton piece, and everything else is Waterford if it's glass. If it's China, obviously it's going to be the Linux. In this room, we've got lots and lots of books. Um, with books, video or video cassettes, uh, bookcases. Lots of kind of vintage decor. We also have a filing cabinet and another antique truck up on top. And we've got a little workout machine, a treadmill, and a recumbent bike. And two weeks ago we had a recumbent bike and everybody was fighting over it. So here's another chance to get one. We have an antique primitive pine drawers. And then out in the garage... We've got another table, and this is a pine table and chair set with some benches. We've also got this enormous safe. This came from service merchandise. The walls are six inches thick. It's just absolutely massive, but it was a jewelry safe for service merchandise. We've also got this commercial Hobart meat slicer. This is one of those ones that you flip the switch and it goes back and forth and shaves you on an entire ham. You don't even have to touch it. We also have a mower, an electric uh, chainsaw, weed eaters. Then we have lots of holiday decor, lots of Christmas decor. Like I said, the fun part's going to be when you get out into the, the barns. That's where everybody's going to want to be. That's where all the tools are, and the tools are just great. Like I said, they're going to be at the end of the video. Lots more Christmas. And now we're going to go out and take a look at the barns. Uh, just all right, this is a picture of the first barn. This barn is kind of the actual farm barn with the older tools. The big barn actually has all the really cool, great tools. So there's lots of what we call farm, farm style and old vintage stuff. Lots of kind of fun stuff out here. We've got tons of hand tools. Over here we have a whole collection of every lawnmower, wood chipper, Rototiller they've probably ever had out here. There's probably about 15 of them just in this section alone. If you like to redo, if you like to redo those, it's great. We have old vintage car tags, lots of stuff to dig through. We have all these cool little bins and shelves. We've got old electrical motors. We have really old pop bottles, um, some old crockery, some old saws, lots and lots of old canning jars some old bicycles. It's kind of a fun, this is one of those fun dig barns that you always dream about. And there's a ladder up on the top rail. And now we're going to go out and look at the last barn. All right, now we're at the big barn. Uh, we were starting, we've got this uh, huge uh, dolly flatbed trolley thing. We have, there's lots of furniture out here. We have a little dinette set, little table and two chairs. We have all this fun stuff, kind of old iron stuff, chairs. We have tons and tons of hand tools. We have literally barrels full of rakes and pitchforks and hay forks, hoes. We have these storage tubs. These are like you always see at the supermarket that they never will sell you. Uh, we have ladders over here. We have this really kind of fun bicycle. And over there we've got, it's a flatbed surround so if you've got a vintage truck and you're trying to restore it or you have one that you need the surround for this is great it's in really great condition we have some concrete we have all sorts of stuff we have pallet racks like you would not believe all right in the barn we are still cleaning up in here so don't judge us because it's messy we've got this cool little vintage tractor pedal car we're gonna 
go into the woodworking shop first. We've got everything. The guy was a master woodcrafter, so he made almost everything. So we had this cabinet full of drill bits. We have tables full of drills. We've got several shop vacs. Almost all the t power tools are deltas. So we have this delta drill press. We've got a delta bandsaw. We have all sorts of sockets. We have vices like you would not believe. We've got, this is a custom made router table. It's got a router and the table and also these all these little router bits in it. We've got all these little tools. We have a workbench over here. This is a um, delta lathe. And we also have a delta, this is one of the sanders, uh, one of the barrel sanders. We also have a spindle sander here that is Ryobi. We have another Delta scroll saw and then all these cabinets. Kind of back here you can see we've got this big metal rack. Kind of going around we've got grinders, all sorts of hand tools. We have chemicals galore. We have books that are all these wood crafting books, all sorts of paints, all sorts of varnishes. And then right here Delta. This is a Delta planer. And then over here we have a Delta portable planer. And a cabinet. Then we have a huge Delta table saw. This has the side extensions to make it even bigger so you can do entire four foot wide sheets. We've got a del another Delta sander toolboxes. Tons and tons of tools. I mean tools of every single combination and when I say if there's one hammer there's 50 hammers if there's one wrench there's 50 wrenches I mean it is absolutely crazy now in the the big part of the barn we've got tables I mean literally tables full of tools I mean you name it he has it out here we've got a gas powered uh, backpack yard back or yard blower we have tables we have uh, this kind of antique cabinet that needs to be redone. We have another Delta scroll saw. We have a huge threading set. Uh, a Nietzsche sewing machine. Kind of over here we have a Craftsman radial arm saw. We have another drill press. We've got um, this huge metal workbench with all these hand tools on it. Then we have, it's a Delta, I believe this is another Delta drum sander. Next table's over here, lots of more tools, kind of some really cool stuff. We have a fairly new rototiller. We have several air compressors, push mower, uh, one of the small little Manus styles rototiller. We have another table saw. I'm not sure who this is. I think it is Craftsman. And then we have several more, two or three different rototillers, another edger. This is an antique uh, drill press that's supposed to bolt upright. We have this big planer plow thing. We have a literally a barrel full of oil. Another air compressor over in the corner. Then over here, power tool, sand, saws, you know, you name it. There's saws, routers, jigsaws. Um, let's see, more routers, more electrical motors, more routers. I mean, it is absolutely crazy how much stuff there is. Then, over here, see all this pallet racking? There is tons of pallet racking with all this lumber. We're selling all of it. So, not only is there all this pallet racking, we also have an assembled pallet racking that are ready to be just like you can buy them, just take them, you don't even have to take the stuff off of them. They're ready to go. We have another sander, these little uh, useful little shop steps, you step on them and they sink down so they don't move around on you. We got another compressor, uh, some more belt sanders, and kind of up here at the front, we've got this huge trailer little utility trailer with some more equipment in it. We have some patio doors. We've got this really neat little tool cabinet. This is a really old vintage cabinet with vintage hardware. You open it up, it has like tool storage. Then more lumber, more pallet racks. It's just absolutely amazing how much lumber and pallet racks are here. 
and then more pallet racks, more lumber. Some of the pallet racks are going to have to stay, but almost all of them are for sale. And more pallet racks. Um, it's dark down <laughs> these aisles, otherwise I'd take you down and show you a little bit more stuff. Then we're going to go up these little stairs. As you tell, there's looks like there's uh, some chainsaws, some weed eaters. Then kind of up in this little attic area. We've got a lot more canning jars, a whole bunch of glassware, some Coke bottles, some jugs. Uh, actually, it looks like a whole bunch of Christmas decor. And some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some oil lamps. And the, the red Batman phone. So that kind of sums up the uh, sale that we're doing. It's, there is so much stuff here, it is to kind of capture how large this is, and how much stuff there is. It's just, it's just absolutely enormous. You know, most of our cells only take us a week to set up. This cell we have been working on for almost three months now, on and off. So anyway, we would certainly love to see you here. If you get a chance, come out and take a look. It is impossible to leave here without buying something. There is so much stuff. So anyway, we'll see you out. Bye-bye.